Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to another video about swimming. But today we're gonna talk about the catch. What's the catch with the catch? <laughs> Why is it so difficult and confusing? What the hell is it? What, what the hell is the catch? As a new swimmer, I can understand exactly what you're thinking because when I was swimming, when people tried to explain the catch to me, I didn't get it in the first place as well. I'm here to clarify what the hell the catch is in this video. And by the way, you're probably noticing well, I have a new camera. So if you're wondering what kind of camera I'm using now, click the link below and find out for yourself and see if you like it or not. Let me know in the comments down below. Let's talk about the catch, okay, when it comes to swimming. The catch is basically grabbing the water. That's it. You grabbing the water. There are only three components to swimming when you're doing front crawl with the arms. You grab the water, you throw it behind you, and then you do it again. Grab the water, you throw it behind you, and then you do it again. Grab the water, throw it behind you, and then you do it again. That's it! That's the simple version! I don't know why people don't explain this or say this on YouTube. People just confuse other people with <laughs> the catch and then the pull and then the recovery and then the reinsertion of the arm. It's just too confusing. So this is why I always use the word grab. This is what you're doing with the water. You're grabbing the water, you throw it behind you, and then you do it again. That's what you're supposed to be doing with front crawl. But they confuse you and everyone else with the catch, pull, and then recovery. And that's not how I would describe these three movements that you can see right now. Use my method, okay? Grab, throw it behind you, and then do it again. Let's talk about how to create an efficient catch or grab. You're probably wondering what part of the arm grabs the water? How can I efficiently grab the water? The answer is right here, okay? The grabbing part should be starting from the elbow all the way up to your fingers. This is an efficient grab. And you can see right now, it looks like a spoon. <laughs> if you have contact with the water from fingers all the way down to your elbow, then you're creating an efficient catch or grabbing the water. Just throw it behind you, and then you do it again. Grab the water from your elbow down to your fingertips. You see right now, it looks like an upside down spoon. You throw it behind you, and then you do it again. Grab the water with your spoon, keep your spoon shape, throw the water behind you, and then you do it again. You're probably wondering, why, why is this the most efficient catch? Why can't I just catch the water from here to here? Well, as you can see, if I just grab the water from here to here and through the water, <laughs> I have very little grabbing or spoon space. <laughs> this sucks. But if I used from my elbow to down to my fingertips, then I've got three times the amount of spoon face to throw the water. Some of you are probably wondering, why don't, why don't I just like grab or catch the water from my fingertips all the way up to like here, right? There is a reason for that and I'll explain why. Best way to describe it to you is by using a ball. If you can, grab hold of a ball, like a tennis ball, hold it in your hand. I want you to, right now, I want you to throw the ball down to the ground. Just throw it to the ground, try to bounce it. What would you do? Would you do this? Would you do this? So what I was doing, I just threw the ball like this, okay? Because if I throw the ball like this, I'm using from here to here in order to throw the ball. So if I threw the ball like this, yeah, I, I can get away with it. Okay, now I want you to start from here and I want you to throw the ball as hard as you can. <clears throat> as you can see, <laughs> this is kind of a, kind of painful or kind of hard to keep up. And try to do this a thousand times and this is what you're trying to simulate when you're doing front crawl. It's not really efficient, is it? Now, if I threw the ball, from my elbow to my fingertips. So, what I'm saying is if I threw the ball like this, bend my elbow, threw it like that. You see this is more natural. Can you see the difference? Okay, so I'll show it to you again. 
This is me throwing with throwing the ball from my shoulder all the way to my fingertips. Okay? And this is me throwing the ball from my elbow to my fingertips. There's a huge difference, okay? One is cumbersome and difficult to keep up, and the other one is easy and much lighter to manage. And this is what we want with our front crawl. And if you don't believe me, if you still don't believe me, now I want you to try like the full effect. I want you to hold the tennis ball above your head like this. So right now, we are simulating an actual front crawl, okay? So this is the part where we have our hand or arm right, right out, stretched out in front of us when we're doing our front crawl. And now we gotta pull. We gotta pull the water using our catch, okay? So let's imagine that we tried using from here to here to catch the water or grab the water. This is what we would do. Okay? So I'm throwing the ball like this, okay? Now if I do it lightly, yeah, I can get away with it a few times. But I want you to throw the ball as hard as you can now. So I want you to throw the ball using your entire arm. It's not really efficient, is it? It kind of hurts. Now I want you to do this a thousand times. And this is what your pulling arm would look like if you were doing front crawl using your entire arm, grabbing the water or catching with your entire arm. It's, oh, my shoulder hurts. Now, let's try a more efficient catch using starting from the elbow up to the fingertips. This is what I would be doing. I would throw the ball like this. So from here, bend my elbow, boom, throw the ball. Start from here, bend the elbow, throw the ball. So I'm throwing the ball like that to the ground. Now if I did it as hard as I could, it's pretty easy to do. And I can do it as, I can whip it, whip it, snap it like that. And that's what I want you to imagine when you're grabbing the water, throwing it behind you, and then doing it again. Grabbing the water, throwing it behind you, doing it again. Grabbing the water, as you can see, this is grabbing the water. And then grabbing the water, throwing it down, and then doing it again. And that, my friends, is what the catch is all about. If you don't believe me, I want you to try this out for yourself at home. Doing this, throwing the ball like this, versus throwing the ball like this, okay? Catching, throwing. Grabbing the water, this is where you grab the water, okay? And throw it. What the catch or what the grab does, it, it helps you to come up with a better strategy for manipulating the water, okay? Because most people think that they should start manipulating the water here at the top where I start pulling as hard as I can from the top all the way down to the bottom. And as you can see with a tennis ball, it's not easy to keep up. This form right here, from the elbow down to our fingertips, and we stop here. So from here to here, here to here, there's no power involved, okay? Here to here, there's no power. The power starts coming here, right here. Then I start bringing up speed and then throwing it down. Slow motion, it would be like this. Grabbing, grabbing the water here, and then now I start with the power, okay? And that's all you have to do, <laughs> okay? It's so simple. Now you get it, okay? The catch is simply grabbing the water. Grabbing the water, the pull is actually throwing the water behind you. The recovery phase is what they call it. It's just doing it again, okay? Doing it again, getting your arm ready again. That's it. So repeat after me. Grab the water, throw it behind you, do it again. Grab the water, throw it behind you, and do it again. If we were doing front crawl, we, our heads would be looking like this, okay? Our hands out in front, okay? So what do we do? Grab the water, throw it behind you, and then do it again. Grab the water, throw it behind you, then do it again, okay? 
So practice this. Throw it to them. Let them catch the water or the ball, okay? <laughs> That's what a catch is. A catch is like catching a ball or catching the rainbow or catching a cold. <laughs> the catch is just so goddamn confusing, okay? But now you get it, okay? Grab the water, throw it behind you, do it again. I hope this video has helped. Uh, if you like what you see, do me a favor and smash that like button again and again and again and like button again and again and again. And stay tuned for more videos from me, Justin, your swimming master. <laughs> if you are serious about learning how to swim, how to really swim, take action. Join 7 dayswimco It's my online course that I made just for you. Sign up now. Click the link below. And I give you the game plan on how to learn how to swim step by step. And I just explain it in simple terms, just like I do in this video, okay? That's all I do. I explain swimming for simple people in simple terms. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you, bye. Yeah.